Uh, yeah, no, it looks like it's a pretty good pitch. Obviously, my first time here to Durban, full stop, so I've never never actually been here or, or played here. So uh, I know I've been talking to the boys uh, about how it usually plays here. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be um, a pretty good cricket wicket, to, to be fair. Obviously, you've got two, two good sides going head-to-head, -head, so it's going to be uh, a crackerjack series, really. So, it's uh, yeah, can't wait. <laughs> Um, I, th I think I'm going to be used as the punching bag again. Um, so uh, yeah, no, I think that that job's mine. Um, uh, it's a, it's a challenging job, obviously coming up against the, some of the best fast bowls in the world. But uh, at the end of the day, you got to challenge yourself against the best players in the world, and what a place to do it. Uh, yeah, hopefully. Um, I, I've always been one. For if you're good enough, you'll get something out of the wicket. So, uh, yeah, I'm hopeful that wicket out there will um, hopefully spin. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to have to try and adapt to the conditions ASAP. And the, the best team who does that will hopefully come out on top. But uh, as a bowling unit, we'll just have to adapt to the conditions and assess them as, as quickly as possible and see if it's fast, slow, up or down, and, and go from our bowling plans for that from there. Uh, yeah, I bowled a couple of balls out in the middle with them and they seemed like they were uh, letting, letting them go. I was glad I was bowling and wasn't facing them. Um, but uh, yeah, no, they're, they're firing. Uh, Mitch is bowling fast. Josh is doing what he usually does, doesn't leave, leave that spot. And, and Paddy looks like he's bowling fast as well. So uh, yeah, we've obviously got a great feeling in, in our bowling, bowling unit here. Um, obviously, obviously coming off a, a great summer back home, so we've got a lot of a lot of confidence in there to to take 20 wickets in in the test series over each each and every test uh, yeah, it is what it is these days. You see it all around the world. It's probably in Australia we don't do it. I know that for a fact. Uh, I know all the curators in, in Australia would, would tell us where to go if we tried to suggest to take all the grass off and make it spin. Um, so it, it is what it is. Um, as I said, both teams are going to have to play on it. They're both quality teams. Uh, we're just going to have to assess the conditions and, and go from it. It's the same for the both sides. It's not like it's changing over, over certain innings. So, um, yeah, I, I'm expecting uh, flatter wickets than what they had for the Indian series, um, especially with the, with the bowling attacks floating around. Both, both bowling attacks are um, probably the two best bowling attacks in my eyes in the world going head to head. So it's, uh, it's uh, yeah, going to be one hell of a series, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, I dare say if you look at the both both sides, I think we're, there's going to be times in the game where where patience is going to play a, a massive role. But there's also going to be times where both bowling attacks are, go, are going at their batters, or at their batters, and um, their bowlers are going to be going at our batters, etc. So it's going to be um, just big moments in the game where you're going to have to assess them and, and try and either. Um, come out on top in those big moments or try and minimise the damage in those big moments. It's just about identifying those things as quickly as possible and, and paying. One thing the Australian will do, we'll pay South Africa a lot of respect. They're one hell of a side. Um, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a great series, but it's just about trying to identify those big moments in the, in the big series and, and try and minimise them and, and maximise them when they're, when, when they're going well for us. Uh, I think uh, the whole side, the whole side, Australian side's in a better place. Um, obviously, there's been a big change since the last time um, South Africa were out, out in uh, in Australia, and, and you've got to give them credit; they totally outplayed us um, in our own conditions, which didn't didn't really go down well with myself personally or, or the whole side. So I know um, we've spoken about coming coming over here, and we've really enjoyed coming over here in the last couple of series I've been over here. 
Uh, we've had some success over there, but we're not going to take that for granted. We're not coming here expecting we're going to have automatic success. We've got to, we're training well. Uh, we've just had an unbelievable training session. Then the boys are firing, and there's a lot of confidence in the Australian change room. But as I said before, we pay the South Africans a lot of lot of respect. They've got some class out, class players there. So it's just uh, going to have to um, see how we go, but uh, and make sure we're competing and challenging the South Africans. Uh, I know the batters read this media, so I'm not going to tell you my plans to uh, to them. But uh, it, it's yeah, my bowling doesn't really change too much. I'm going to I'm very confident in my stock ball at the moment in uh, uh, in my consistency. So yeah, I'm not going to ch be changing too much. So it's uh, it's uh, going to be another great challenge for myself coming up against some best batters in the world. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Obviously, the more more games you play against, uh, you you get more confident against against them and and understanding how they looking to play you. But to be honest with you, I'll get the best batter in the nets face me each and every day. So to bowl to Smithy every day, uh, that's a that's a big challenge. The number one batter in the world trying to take you down every net session. So uh, and that that gives you a lot of confidence confidence when you're bowling to to guys like that consistently con consistently over the over the time. So um yeah I'm pretty happy with the way I'm bowling at the moment. Yeah, he's he's coming. He's like an energizer bunny at the moment. So it's uh, it's great to great to see. He's running around. He's uh, got plenty of plenty of volume, and we need Davey up and up and about like that. He's a, we all know he's a world class. He's an X factor. Um, he's hitting the ball extremely well in the nets. Um, I was just bowling to him half an hour ago, and he was, he was whacking me. So uh, it was, it, it's great signs for Davey. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited to, to see Davey up and about and uh, really exciting times ahead for and hopefully a massive series for Davey.